Ataturk is seen as the father of the modern Turkish nation. He is revered as a person who was able to forge a new nation out of the crumbling Ottoman Empire. Ataturk was born in 1881 in the now Greek city of Thessaloniki. He was an able student, and from an early age, he became involved in the burgeoning movement for Turkish independence. In the First World War, he served with distinction, holding off the Allied attack at Gallipoli. He was an able military leader. At the end of the First World War, a harsh peace treaty was imposed on the defeated Turks. In 1921, it looked as if Turkey would be occupied by the Greeks. Ataturk persuaded the new National Assembly to fight the Greek invasion. He was given permission and successfully defeated the Greeks. A year later in 1922, at the Treaty of Lausanne, Turkish independence was confirmed. Ataturk was the first president of Turkey from 1923 to 1938. Ataturk was a believer and follower of the Renaissance ideals of modern Europe. In particular, he wanted to see a separation between the state and religion. Ataturk's power was very great and Turkey was effectively a one-party state. But his popularity was strong amongst the population and his vision of a modern secular Turkey was implemented. The Great Depression of 1929 to 1931 led to widespread economic upheaval. However, from 1931, a mixture of state planning and intervention helped the economy recover. Ataturk died in 1938 from a cirrhosis of the liver. His death was widely mourned throughout Turkey. 